Superior Parts, the largest bike retailer in Jamaica, has introduced a brand new version of their Zamco Flatty Bike. This year's model of the Zamco, it has brand new features and some upgrades as well. And I'm sure a lot of you guys and girls alike will love this. All right, so the very first thing that caught my eye is the digital speedometer or what some of you guys may refer to as the digital clock. Compared to last year's model, we can clearly see the difference. We can see that the whole left side of the cluster or the clock has changed to digital. So we have the speedometer, which is digital. There's also a gear indicator on there as well as you have the odometer which basically shows the distance that the bike has traveled in its lifetime and also you have the time there as well all on the digital side the left side So coming from last year's model, we still have the gas gauge, which is at the top. We still have our indicator lights as well. We still have the main indicator for your headlight to show whether it's on high beam or whether it's off. And we still have the gear indicator. So this is the default or the, the the gear indicator that usually comes on all these bikes. Additionally, to the right over where we have the tachometer or they would call that the, the rev count or the RPM meter, whatever you want to call it, you, you also have a sensor that's in the clock and it has a little phone right beside it. It basically shows you, it basically flashes whenever your phone rings or whenever any signal is sent to your phone just to alert you that there's a message coming on your phone all right so on to the next upgrade or change that they made was in regards to the front disc rotor so basically what they did was to add on a bigger rotor to the front brake system there and what that will do is the the bigger the rotor is the more stopping power that you'll have because you know that it's a 250 cc and the bike is very light so i mean good stopping power is essential so they went ahead and added a bigger disc rotor to the front braking system next up we move to the engine so the engine has also undergone some changes as well so in this year's model we have a not five speed gearbox but a six speed gearbox so i personally like the fact that they are introducing six speed gearbox in these bikes you know it's actually made me feel like you know i want to buy one of these bikes again because i mean six speed gearbox is it's really nice so yes six speed gearbox it also has a balancer shaft engine if you don't know what a balancer shaft is basically a balancer shaft lessens the vibration of the engine so basically you have less vibration from the engine and the bike feels so much smoother the bike actually has more power because of that and every it, it, it just ride really good additionally this bike also comes standard with four-way flasher on the right side control panel there where you have the light switch it also has that four-way flasher that you can switch on and normally to get the four-way flasher on these type of bikes you have to uh, splice it they call it basically splice and you know add on a switch and do all of that but this bike it comes standard so you don't have to do anything extra so that's also a plus okay so with all that said the big question that everybody wants to know is what is the price of this bike all right 
what I want you to do is to pause the video and type in the comment what you think will be the price of this bike. All right, good. Thank you. So the price of this bike at the time of making this video is 180,000 Jamaican dollars. Now the price may fluctuate as the years or as the year goes by, but that's the price at the time of making this video. But everything else like the shocks, the front headlamp, the indicators, the rims, the carriage, everything is pretty much the same from the previous uh, generation of this bike. So that basically sums up the entire video here. I am really sorry that I was not able to get this bike on a, on a ride, but I am working on that. The downside is the dealership, they do not offer, you know, persons to really ride the bikes like that. You have to buy the bike to ride the bike. <laughs> so for me now, I have to wait until somebody I know buys the bike, then I can do a, you know, a, a ride review of the bike. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this bike because I mean, it's pretty controversial. A lot of persons say that these bikes are too light for a 250cc engine. You know, everybody have their own view on these bikes and the engines and you know, everything. So leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. Bless up.